Uh, what you're looking at is um, the crane over there on the other side of the um, bungalow section here where they're building the uh, theater, the hospital, or the hotel. I, I'm really not sure. But that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for today is this is a bungalow neighborhood where they will put you if you're here for a lifestyles visit. This is across the street from Brownwood. And we're going to look at that house right there. This is Phil. He's uh, one of my subscribers and um, he's here for a lifestyle visit. He bought a house and he's uh, the man that we're going to do the before and after on, on his new house. And um, he invited me to come down here so I could show you what a bungalow in Alden Villas looks like. This is an Arlington model and it's extended. It's a corner lot, a two car garage looks like. Um, I think it's two car. I'm pretty sure it's two car. And the um, reason why we're doing this is I've had so many emails from people that seem to be concerned about what a bungalow is. And uh, so we're going to go in and I'm going to show you. You're going to be thoroughly surprised how nice they really are. This uh, being a fairly new neighborhood, it's quiet. I don't hear much of anything here. So, first thing we're going to do over here, I think, before we go inside, let's, uh, oh, he's got the door locked, I think. No, there it goes. This is, um, Courtyard Villa area, where in order for him to work on this house over here, you have to enter the neighbor's backyard. So that if he gets his house painted or whatever. So I'm just showing you that real quick. That that's, that's uh, something you have to be aware of when you buy one of these uh, fenced in backyards. You have to allow access to your yard so your neighbor can work on their house. Okay, this is an Arlington model. Very nice so far. I've never been in a meter, so this is, uh, this is all going to be new to me. Um, nice entry. Um, I don't want to say athletic glass. I don't know what it is, but um, it's nice. Let's go inside. As we come in, this is the entry. And right away I see uh, some design uh, changes up here. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think that's a fire alarm. It's got tile floor, high ceilings. I'm going to take a guess, 10 foot ceilings. This would be the entrance to your living room area. And these, uh, for lifestyle business, these homes come completely furnished. You won't need to bring anything but your clothes. I'll show you a little bit here in a little bit. Here's another angle of the room. You have Comcast for your cable. Uh, they use Comcast because channel two is the village's network and it's only on Comcast. There's a kitchen area, very nice kitchen. I believe the cabinets are a little bit of an upgrade. They just look like they are. Um, I believe this is granite. It looks granite it feels Kind of like granite. Undermount sink, stainless steel. Stainless steel stove, electric, microwave, refrigerator. Uh, he was showing me everything in here is furnished. There's your some of your dishware and your glasses, some of it. Uh, most of these drawers are probably going to be empty. I'm just kind of giving you an idea what's okay. Silverware and all that kind of thing. Toaster, coffee maker. 
Looks like they even give you some coffee here. Nice. Very nice. He said um, pretty much the way you see it is the way it was when he got here. So here's a phone, phone book. Um, they give you important numbers here to call. You know, if you need any information or help. You have Wi-Fi in the house. Here's the uh, villages where I tell you about what the launching rules are. Basically, it's just, you know, use your common sense on most of this. These are some of the things that the villages has laid out for you. Here's a garage door opener. Here is a gate card for going in and out. Here is a, um, um, I guess you'd call it like an ID card that they give you so you can go to the different uh, functions and you wear that ID card. It shows that you're a, um, a resident here on a lifestyle visit. Then they give you the keys. That's a golf cart key there. These are probably the keys to the house. And it has a checklist here of things that they, they give you. Check-in time, check-out time, those kinds of things. And then they give you a stack of information that you're going to need. Uh, recreational guide and all that kind of thing. And then here's a uh, uh, Homes for Sale magazine. This is a village's map um, that I've um, offered people in the past. Shows a golf cart trail, shows the new areas uh, that they're working on down there. Linden, Marsh Bend and all that they give you. And here's the golf cart and bicycle user agreement that you probably have to sign. Basically saying if you crash the golf cart you're probably going to have to cover the deductible or something. Dining area, in case you have friends that come in. Washer and dryer. It's got in the garage. Now his car's parked out here, but I'll give you an idea what size this garage is. He's got a pretty good sized car. Oh, we got a little, little nook and cranny over here to put uh, some things in. Hot water heater. It is a two-car garage, by the way. I couldn't really tell from outside, but after I get in here, there's his car, and it, it, plenty of room. Here's the golf cart they give you. It's a new Quiet Tech golf cart. Gas. Of course, I, you all know that follow me, that gas is the only way to go as far as I'm concerned. If you intend to do any kind of traveling at all in the villages in your golf cart, get gas. If you're not going to do a lot of traveling, you're just going to run around your local neighborhood and that kind of thing, then electric could probably be fine. Bicycles, they give you with the uh, rentals. Bicycle pump. They pretty much give you everything you need to be here. So you don't need to worry about, should I bring this or bring that? Me, if I was to come down here, I would bring my favorite coffee. <laughs> That's the only thing that I could say. Here's a, out of the living room, here's an entrance to the lanai in the back backyard area. See if the door's unlocked. Yeah, it is. So we come outside here from the living room area. Looks an extended lanai, two fans. One, two, so you already know it's a bigger than I. They have just a table out here, but it's uh, plenty big enough for all types of patio furniture. And of course, there's your brick wall. Goes around the back area. A lot of people like these because um, of pets. There's your uh, air con. Here's a gate to come in from uh, that side. That would be your private side, I think. And let's just walk around back here. See what the backyard's like. Pretty good size. Uh, these are um, courtyard villas, kinda. They call them bungalows. 
I'm not sure what the difference is, but they're about the same thing as a courtyard. Well, being a corner lot, apparently he don't have an entrance over there. Okay, so his entrance would be over here. That's a private entrance. All right, that's good. He doesn't have to share his backyard uh, with a neighbor here. There's that tower again. But as I'm walking around outside, if any of you are noticing, you don't really hear anything, do you? Kind of quiet. Don't hear a lot of anything. He bought a house up north, and uh, when he closes on it, we're going to go up and do a walk around before, and then he's going to have some work done, and probably, I don't know when he's going to do it, but when he gets some of the work done, whatever, he's going to call me, and we're going to do a, an after, so um, I'll probably wait and post uh, post all that later. This is a second entrance off of the uh, bedroom, I believe, to come out to the long eye. That's where we just came out. That's off the living room. Let's go back inside. Okay. Well, let's go down this hallway. There's some bedrooms and, and some bathrooms down here. Okay, we come down how we turn to the right. Looks like it's a guest room. Very well decorated. I think they use um, city furniture to decorate most of their uh, lifestyle programs. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, city furniture. Looks like about a, I'm going to say a double sized bed. Uh, roughly at the highest point, I'd say it's about 10 foot ceilings up there. And it kind of comes down a little bit there. Closet, I'm not going to open the door, you guys have seen enough closets. This would be the guest bath. Pretty decent size for a guest bath. My guest bath is smaller than this. Under, under mount sinks, granite top. Looks like tile, tile all the way around the, uh, um, the, the tub area. Got plenty of towels. This would be a, a hall closet for, they got a few towel, extra towels in here. And then we come down here. I think this is guest bedroom number two. This guest bedroom's got a tray ceiling. It's very nice. Inside back up and go this way. There's the closet. Um, looks like uh, there again. That, that might be a queen size bed. I'm bad about guessing these sizes. That might be a queen size. Very nice, very nice guest bathroom. And as we go in here, I believe this will be, I think this is the master. Master bathroom. Looks very nice. Tile floor. Granite. Under mount sinks. Here's uh, some of the things that they supply with you. You got towels, wash rags, and whatever, hair dryer. Who knows what else they give you? But uh, there's that. And the uh, a walk in shower. Showers look nice. I like the accent right here. These, these, I think it's glass. I don't have that. I've got an accent tile that goes around mine, but it matches the rest of the tile. I like this better. That's just my own personal opinion. Very nice. It's 
some of the things that they leave you here lady lady things kind of like a motel okay I'm sure most ladies probably come down with their own stuff anyway here's the walk-in closet it's long very deep very very long this way you know I've always had one one suggestion for the village's um, developer that uh, in every house down here they could start if they wanted to making every walk-in closet in every house down here a safe room in other words make them concrete block all the way up make it a cement roof so that if there's a major storm that comes through this is the safe room um, they don't do it but uh, I think most people would feel pretty good about having a safe room in their house master bedroom it's uh, this is extended part of the house I'm not sure which way it goes but it's uh, this is a, a very good size room tray ceiling goes all the way across the room here that is definitely a king-size bed and as you can see with a king-size bed is how much room there is carpeted floor in here and then here's the I won't go out there but here's the uh, door from your um, um, master bedroom that would take you back out to your little eye so these are very nice homes so don't let the word bungalow bother you if you're coming down for a lifestyle visit um, the bungalows here are are extremely well done my my only complaint about any of these villa areas as i've stated before it's all about the uh, parking situation but other than that these homes here i could are more than livable I'd, i could live in it full time wouldn't bother me a bit so well i think we've seen everything so i'm gonna get out of phil's way because i think he's got some things to do today i know he's getting ready to close on a house he bought so he's probably got some running around to do and i appreciate phil for taking the time to let us in here i've never seen any of these lifestyle of bungalows and I've always wanted to know what they look like inside anyway and I know you guys are concerned about it so I hope this eases your mind that there's absolutely nothing wrong with these bungalows in any way these bungalows are very very nice and once again here's a shot of the living room area let me back up here there's the main entrance then you come into the living room area out to the lanai dining area kitchen area laundry room whoops laundry room and stuff there through the laundry room is a door that takes you out into the garage and once again there's a way to go out to the lanai very very nice so i want to thank phil and uh, we'll end this and we'll see about getting this video up as soon as i can so until then you know what I'm going to say. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I stopped here just outside of Alden Bungalows. In there is where the um, lifestyle visits are at. As you can see, Alden Bungalow sign there. I'm just showing you how, how walkable it is. Straight across the street, if you can see over there. Let me turn this in. Over there. That's Brownwood. Matter of fact, there's a little sign right there on that, uh, I don't know what that is. Fruit stand, I guess. Um, that's Brownwood right over there. So when I say that it's very walkable to go to the downtown Brownwood, to the square, restaurants, whatever, um, it is very walkable. You can walk over there. Now, if you want to take the golf cart, you have to get on that path right there before you go through the gate. The path goes down there. That's a golf cart path, goes down there and that away. 
and then there's a tunnel down there that'll take you over and up and bring you out by uh, actually very close to the 2J's uh, restaurant and then right over there from here let me see if I can zoom in on that right over there that is um, let me see if I can focus this thing a little better there right over there that's Shooter's World. I tried to get a video of it the other day and I couldn't get in there. But I'm just letting you know what you got. And then right over there is, uh, uh, I think, the hotel they're building. And back there, I think, or over there where the tap that is, I believe that's going to be, if, well, if that's going to be the hotel, then that's going to be the hospital or clinic, whatever you want to call it. So a lot of building going on, um, hope this helps a little bit.